What's going on, YouTube? West Harbys Archie's channel. And <laughs> so today. I'm going to be learning how to build my uh, airplane. Yeah, so today I'm going to be teaching my seven year old daughter how to build her own airplane. So this weekend we had an event at the field and she ended up winning this flight test little two channel mini scout. So we are going to get started. So what do we got to do, Skyla? So first we need to unwrap. Well, if well, actually, we should probably take out these parts mm -hmm. before we start unwrapping. Right. And then we should also probably take out this. Yep, and we set that aside. And then we set that aside. So we're going to get all the parts unwrapped and we'll be back. All right, so the first thing we need to do, take your barbecue skewer your barbecue. and you see this line right here? Yep. Okay, so look, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take it and we need to crease this line. So we're just going to take our skewer and just run it down like this. Mm-hmm. A long line. So do that a couple times. Do we need to use this side? Yeah, and just do it kind of light pressure, not too much pressure. Yep, just like that. Do that all the way down. All right, now let's see if the wing is bendy. So now we got some nice flex to it. Now we got to do the same to this one. Now the same to the other one. So yep. two times. So two we times. just stick it in. Then but do it on an angle like this. Let just like... Yep. Guys, this is my first time. It's Sorry. okay, you're learning. Yeah, this is my first time, and sorry, um, you might come to the Skeleton YouTube channel, and um, I always say guys, so that's just what I got it from, so yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do a nice long fold run all the way down. Okay, so now we can bend our wing. So bend it back and forth. Okay, so now we're going to use our little angle wing gauges, which are these little guys right here. Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna set those like this and like this. And basically what we're doing with those is we are gonna get the angle. And then we're gonna glue them. Of our wing, yep, so. We're gonna take the hot glue gun. Take the hot glue gun, let's run a bead. Just a straight line. Yep, just a quick straight line. Mm, oh, sorry. Yep, hurry, do it quickly, quickly, quickly. Re-squeeze, re-squeeze. A little bit more glue right here, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. So now, ow! Oh, sorry! It's okay. So now we're going to take our angle finder, our little angle gauges, and we are going to just push and run our fingers down, and then we're going to do the same on the other wing, so that way we have a matching set, so both wings are identical, and you should have a nice little under cambered style airfoil. So you like actually this. don't need to glue these? No, you don't need to glue them. So now, now we're, we're going to glue the wing tips. Right, we're so going to glue the wing halves together. I'm so pretty sure wait, we before, just... wait, 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 wait. So you make sure both your wings have that same under cambered look. So when you line them up, they should be Perfect. pretty identical of each other. So now you're going to put, hold on, before we do it, let's, let's let this one stay flat. And then let's grab our wing gauge. This is a wing gauge mm -hmm. for the amount of dihedral. Yep. Dihedral creates stability. All right, so now we're gonna put an even. So we gotta get, do we add enough glue stick in there? Okay. Um, yeah. All right, so we need to put an even bead. Even bead. Okay, not, not a crazy amount, but just enough glue that the wing stays together. Okay, perfect. Okay, set the glue stick aside. And then, um, if your glue stick starts to get low, just add another one, just like that. Yep, just like that. See, that's what I did. Then take your angle gauge there. Make sure you push these two wing halves together. They're just like sisters or brothers. Yep, and then you're gonna wanna push and hold that until it dries. And then we'll probably use a piece of tape in the middle to reinforce. So let's let that dry and we'll see what it looks like. So we're going to tape it. Yep, we're gonna put a little piece of scotch tape, a little longer. We need, a, we need a long piece to cover the whole thing. Hold on, before you, oh, wait, wait, that should be good. Yep, now just take it and simply push down. Perfect. Just like that. There we go. And then we're going to flip the wing over and do the same on the other side. So let's flip the wing over here. All right, and I'm just going to run we this edge this do way. do not need the hot glue gun yet. No. Nope. Okay, let's put another piece of tape here. Okay, and then we see like a smallish one. We need it to go from here to here. Yep, that should be good. Now put that tape on there. If it doesn't go all the way, then that's okay because there is some tape. Yeah, this is just an extra bit of reinforcement of the center section to help spread the load. And it's okay if it doesn't go all the way because there's that extra. 
Yeah. But if you don't have extra, then you make sure it's on. So now layer. our wing is completed. Woo. So now we can set the wing aside and let's get started on the fuselage. Okay, so you just put the wing over there. So now we got the fuselage out here. Now, yeah. I've never built one of these before, so if you guys are building one of these things, flighttest.com has a great video, and that's what we're kind of watching as we build. Because I've built a lot of airplanes in my life, and I don't think I've ever built a flight test kit. My grandpa has built quite a few of them recently, but yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, and this is mine. So now we're going to grab our X-Acto knife. Okay, and now I'm going to do this part because I don't want the little one to cut her fingers. And this is all you do, Like baby, I do girl. every day. <laughs> Yep. I always cut myself or myself, so. You don't want to go all the way through, so you're just lightly scoring along the line that's here. Yeah, because if you go all the way through, then you'll break it. No, then you cut it in half, and we don't want to cut it in half. What we're doing is we're going to cut this center line out, this piece right here. So you're just going to do this all the way down, and then we'll get ready to test fold the fuselage hat. So now we want to take this, this out. out. So you fold it and kind of just pinch it out. Can be... Yep. Even if you need to, you can get on um, a barbecue stick and just just do like. Yep, just like that. And kind of just fold it up. Yeah, you can even take a barbecue stick if it's not going well. Like, and then do the like same. see how it's not um, perfect. You can just take a barbecue stick and just go all the way all through. Right. Can you do that? What? You can do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. That is pretty. Is, oh, that's okay because this is Perfect. just crap. And then test fit. They're kind of squeezed together. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the top of the airplane. Yeah, I'm judging by the wing. That's the top. That's going to squeeze together. He never together. built one of these, so he does not know. No, I've never built one. And then these little lines right here are score lines, or these little score lines are. So we're going to hold it down flat. And then we're going to gently kind of pull on one side yep and then you're gonna grab your back half piece here back and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna cut along this line and we're gonna peel these pieces off now that we got all of the little bevel pieces out so the paper can Which fold took like forever but you guys didn't do bit. that no nope, we we spared them the time so now what we're gonna do is, is we're going to use our glue gun mm -hmm. okay and we're gonna run a, a little bead so you just yep and you know, just hold 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 squeeze hold 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 okay do the same on the other side Daddy, squeeze I can do it up here myself okay squeeze well, just hold squeeze and hold squeeze and hold oh look there we go there we go stop 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 squeeze oh wait glue stick's not in see can't give me it I know but we gotta we gotta work quick because hot glue it's cold here you go hold that it is not a hot glue whenever it's cold. It's cold glue. Yeah, it's cold glue. And we don't want cold glue. And then you burn the crap out of yourself with hot glue. Okay, we need more. There's this guy on YouTube and he says if ever is not a Robbie video unless if I burn myself. <laughs> Alright, so now let's take that Skyla and let's put a little quick bead. Okay, yeah, put a bead, not so much, not so much. We don't need a lot of glue. All right, let's do the other side. Same with this one. Okay, yep, not so much, not so much. Perfect. Then we're gonna take that, we're gonna push this together. I'm a beginner using glue, um, a glue gun. It's all part of learning. I mean, my grandpa did have me help one time glue something with a hot glue gun, oh, yeah, but he didn't now. Grandpa doesn't know how to use a glue gun? Well, he does, but he just needed help because he couldn't see it that well, so uh, I know. Okay, so now that we got the top half of our fuselage section together. We need to glue this part. Now we can glue this part. So this part's going to go on this way. So we're going to line this yeah. up. So always test fit. To make sure. Oh, so this part's going to kind of fit in there like okay. this. Just like that. So... We're gonna take our glue gun. Glue gun. We're gonna do the same yeah. thing, but a quick, we don't need a lot, just, yep. Just like that, perfect. Keep going. Good, good, good. Now do the same on the other side. Good, 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 good. Yep, run it all the way down. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, a little bit more. 
A little bit more right here. And it oh, looks like, guys, we need a new glue gun. Okay. Well, we need, glue, we need a new glue stick. Yep, reload. Reload it. Reloaded. All right. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I hate hot glue. You had never told me. I hate hot glue. Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't even know that we were still recording. We're still recording. All right. So now we got our fuselage halves pretty much glued together. Use the table. Push down. Make sure it's square. And yep. let's move on to the next hot step. Glue. Hot glue. So move on to now these. Now we need this. We need this. And we need this. Do you know what this is? No. This is an elevator or a horizontal stabilizer. And, and then, then this, this is, a, is rudder. a rudder. Yes, or a vertical stabilizer. So, no, now we're going to take a knife. So we want to cut. I have, I have always had fun with this stuff as a, um, as like, yeah, I've always had fun with this. You always this. had fun with this stuff? Yeah, I've always had. So we don't want to cut all the way through, though. We just want to get it to move, and the same on the elevator. You have to, I cannot help with this part. I can just watch. Right, and then we need just to bevel like it. like this. It, which is that means so when you bevel it you're gonna want to take and you can get some cool tools for this but it doesn't have to be precise and you just so, want to cut a bevel in it can i use something to do it what, what can i use to do with that nothing because this is a very sharp razor blade yeah and bevel it if you're kids, um, um, make sure you get a parent. Yes, if you're a kid, make sure you get a parent. To ask you with that. And then just bevel. And make sure that you can use a hot glue gun, like my dad's right there, so I can use a hot glue gun. Yep. But I can obviously not use a hot, uh, like a razor blade. Okay, that should be all the down elevator we need. And then what you want it, and then what you can do to and do just, the same with the rudder. And then what you can do is you can just take this and you can just do oh, that. Yeah. Dang, that already was oh, that there. was there. So we're going to have to tape it. Yeah, so you just want to do this to make sure that's all the same thing. But if they're like, like you can just do this. And then if it goes then through, then that will, then, then that will make sure, then that will show you. And then I'm going to take, watch out baby. Some, now some we're ready tape. to glue the elevator and rudder on. Now remember guys, this is not a tutorial or a how to build video. There's a lot better videos out there. So, you ready baby girl? Let's, yep. let's glue it's the rudder first. It's just showing how we build. Yep, it's hey, just daddy, get teaching. It <laughs> <laughs> so we just need a little bit. Squeeze, yep, good, squeeze, good. A little bit more right here. And then we just... Perfect. Okay, a little Come bit more on here. very much. A little bit. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Okay. Daddy, can you grab that glue stick? Oh, I guess right I grabbed here. it. So now slide this over here. Slide that down. And guys, that was, that was me not using uh, another glue stick to push to that glue stick. Make sure it is square. You could use a rudder, or ruler straight edge, but I can pretty much eyeball anything and see that it's straight. He cannot eyeball you. What? I don't know, I'm just being silly. I'm just being silly. Make sure your rudder itself moves. And Make we sure. don't need the hot glue okay. gun anymore for that. So now, we're going to put hot glue here. Oh right, we need a hot glue gun. Sorry guys, this is my first time. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put a dab, squeeze. Good, squeeze. Okay, you can do this. I know, I'm helping you. Get a good bead there. Uh, uh, hey, look, look, let me show you. Look you just up. need a plastic glue stick. Okay, squeeze. Here, let me see. The glue, the glue gun not working, guys. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Yeah, and this glue gun sucks. Yeah, we need to buy a new one from the dollar store. I don't do this enough to need a new glue gun. All right. So now grab your elevator and rudder. Which we will not need any more glue. No, we will not need any more glue. We're going to try to push. Hey, you're going like another little mess nudge right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, push that guy down in there. Line up your little tabs. Oh, and guys, if your glue gun has the glue everywhere, just start like to work with the, these little tabs. And then look and make sure. The, the elevator itself is straight and square. 
Push them dry. If you have two glue guns, then you can just glue there it. There we down. go. Now let that dry and we move on. Yeah, don't burn <laughs> me this time. She burnt me and took the hair off my arm. <laughs> we need to do that more often. No, we don't. All right. <laughs> yes. Let's put a little dab of glue on this guy and not burn daddy in the process. <laughs> a little bit more. Put like a, a line. There we go. Good, 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 good. You just have to make sure it's on there. Yeah, well, that, that's definitely on there. I think these are the little formers for the canopy mount. He doesn't know. I don't. I've never built one of these before. I told you this. <laughs> Give me a, good, a little bit of glue there. Give me more. Hold on. Guys, our glue stick is not being... Our glue stick is being stubborn. And if I okay, could get okay. the right angle, it would be great. That should be enough glue. We don't want this thing to weigh 50 pounds from all the hot glue that makes these things heavy. <laughs> <laughs> now, flip it over. Let's pop this little thing out the back. And now, then we have to glue something. I don't know if this is the proper way to do this, or this is just the way we're doing it. I think this is a tail skid. Yeah, I'm it's pretty a tail sure skid. we have to glue that. Of course we have to glue it. We have to glue everything. Yep. This is why I don't like these foam board airplanes with hot glue, because number one, hot glue is heavy. Number two, it weighs a freaking ton. And number three, it makes a mess everywhere. Good. We forgot one bit. What? All right, so now everything moves. We put a little bit of tape because I accidentally went through right here. Now this is our completed fuselage. What do and you think, Skyla? It's pretty nice. All right, teaching her how to paint. Okay, we'll stay a little bit away. Not so close. Now hit it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I it's so hard. All right, so we're just gonna hit it with some with and some I... uh, apple red. And I will be spraying these parts. Yeah, and she'll spray those parts. So we're just going to hit this whole airframe with some apple red. And then we will get done and ready to finish building. And the tape are just guard lines. Let's see yeah, the tape is there for helping. So, like, we're going to peel off the tape and then spray paint that with red with black? No, the tape is going to stay there just so it helps give a stronger control surface. Alright, so we so, got the airplane painted. Yep. Um, you can choose whatever color you want. Yes, you can, can even weave it that brown color. You could. We're gonna be running a T motor F20. Yeah, and motor then ad laying this around. servo. Yep, we're gonna be running a 12 amp hobby wing fly fun ESC. This is only gonna be a 2S. Sorry, build. I do not know my servos. That's okay. So the next step in our build process is going to be gluing. This little front bulkhead. Now, of course, I didn't glue it, so it's not, or I didn't paint it because I didn't know, but you know, whatever. You're not going to see it. You can just repaint it. Well, you're not going to see it anyways because this will be covered up with that turtle deck, which is in that black thing. So we're going to take a bead of hot glue. It is not a black thing, it is a black cover. Yep. And we're just going to take this guy. This. And we're going to glue this to uh -huh. here. Like this, just and kind of align that. that like that. Uh huh. Let that dry for a second. One Mississippi. And then this is going to fold up and under. Mississippi. Okay, I don't want that scratch up. And then now we got to glue this baby girl. Yeah. So now we got to put a bead of glue here. Like this. And this is for the motor mount angle. It's and we're gonna glue that into there. Why am I not gluing anything? You can glue in a second. All right, so now our next step, you ready, Skyla? Yes. So our next step is gonna be gluing this turtle deck. So Wait, what we wanna yeah. do is we have to line this hole with this hole, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so we need to put a dab of hot glue here. Oh. Okay, so we just need a dab there. I do. Perfect, and then we need a dab there. And a dab a little bit more. Perfect. Wait. A little bit more here. Perfect. Okay. And then we can set the glue gun down. We're going to grab this top deck. Okay. And we're going to line that up. Try to get just it like as, that. Try to get it as straight as we can. And we'll just hold this for a second. Yeah, let that dry. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly work that. So we'll get to do that and then we'll see how it looks. We went ahead, got the top turtle deck on, got it trimmed and flush. And then these were just laying around. No, those are from my stockpile. No, they're laying around. No. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's not from my stockpile is the ESC, and Grandpa gave that to you. 
Yeah, this is this is. So we got the control arms over, over yeah. there. Yes, we're using the Emax fifty. Uh, what are these? The ninety five oh five or ninety oh fives? Ninety oh five. Great little servo, but you got to remember, you got to buy those directly mm -hmm. from uh, Flight Test or Amain. Anything else, they, they use the Chinese clones, and they are no good. So we went ahead and we got the control horns. Yep. Yep. And then she went ahead and scored this. Yes. Okay, so you want to slide that into here. We're just gonna just slide it into that hole. Right here. This hole right here. Oh. Perfect. Slide it all the way in. And then you want to push that piece of wood, this little flat side, you want to push it into that hole. I'm warning. Oh, are you getting it in there? Right there. Push it in there. All right, this so is my first... Right now, this is mock-up, and we have to glue these. So let's do the same on the other side. Oop. Push that into there. Okay. Oop, wiggle it around till it slides all the way in. There we go. And then you want to do the same where you want to push that piece of wood. Wait, before, hold on, wait. Before we do that, we want to bring the push rod. Yeah. Hold on, we need to bring the push rod out this little hole right here. So hold the push rod there. I'm gonna grab this thing and get it up and out of here, which I cannot do. There we go. Okay. And then I'll do the same on that side. Hold on, pull it back a little bit so I can get my fingers in there. Pull back, pull back, perfect. All right, now push that into there. Right. Just like that. that. Yep, and we're gonna glue yeah. those after we get the servo set up. Yeah. So push that one into there. Mm. Perfect, so now we can move on to the servo side. Stop hitting the camera post, baby. Thank you. Sorry guys. It's okay, so can you get a Sharpie? Yep, I can go get a Sharpie. Right. So now we got a Sharpie so we can mark. So this is what we need to do, baby girl. So we need to figure out which one's which. This push rod here is elevator, so they're crossed. So we know that this servo is gonna go on this side and we wanna position the servo probably somewhere around here. So, so we're gonna so take, take that the sharpie, sharpie and yep. then write L. No, what we're gonna do is we are going to put a mark about right, right here, right where my finger is. Yep. So we're gonna put a mark there. So and now, then the second mark, you can just literally just rub off. Well, here, and, look, off and then we're gonna there. take these are called Z-bend pliers. So we're mm. gonna take the Z-bend pliers and we're gonna line it up with our mark, and we bend a Z-bend in the plier. Now little crooked we can straighten that by hand and then we take our side bites and we chop off the excess if you ever knew who did this it was not machines it was this is those people that have this yep just... z-bin pliers and then we're going to do the same with this wire so we're going to mark we want the servo careful and then we're going to mark about right there right here that's fine okay and we're gonna take our z bend pliers. We're gonna line up that hole right there. Just for going. z bend. Take our side bites and then. cut the excess wire off. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and get our servos glued in. So now we need to bend up the landing gear. And with these tools, um, whatever this is called. Those are little channel locks, side bites, and, and needle nose. Needle nose. So they include Let's get needles. They include a little piece of piano wire. So I already went ahead and marked it. I measured right, 15 right and a half and here. marked it at seven and a quarter. Yeah. So that's from, halfway. If you just go like to your little table yeah, and then if you have one there. of this, you go from like I thought it was right there. Yeah. And then definitely did not measure right so we're going to measure this in half yeah 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 because that ain't right so we're going to no. measure this in half and then we're going to bend up the gear real quick yep. and then we'll see what it looks like so we went ahead and got the landing gear bent up and we decided that these wheels hmm. these are the foam board wheels they give you in the kit we glued them together and painted them just so they were black but they're not going to last so i went and dig through some of my stash of wheels and i found these i had on the shelf Can I show brand them new. Where your stash of wheels are? they've seen my stash of stuff all oh, right yeah you showed them in your other video yep so they're a little big they're two and a half but they're micro lights so i mean they really don't weigh much different than the than the foam board so we're just gonna go ahead and use these yeah and these will last a little bit longer and they fit just well yep and they fit perfectly 
on the axle. So we're gonna get those measured out, cut off, and then get to installing this landing gear in your airplane, right? Yep. Spin, 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 so the glue don't hold the wheel on. Oh, I think it's done. Is it done? Yep. Okay, nice and free. So let's do the same to the other side. Now you'll do that. We need to just put it on. You have to take your time with this. Mm -hmm. Make sure you line it up. Perfect. And now we're gonna put a bead of glue so we just on. Want it. A little bit. Perfect. And now we're just gonna spin, 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 spin. <laughs> like it, and then watch it roll out. All right. That Let's looks good. Just make sure it doesn't dry. See if it's dry. Almost. Now it's dry. It's dry. Perfect. I'm done. just kind of um, putting all the like extra glue into one big pile. Okay, now we're going to glue that into the airplane? Yep. So we just put a bunch of hot glue on this and it slides up into here. And yeah. this bottom plate. If we just, just take Pretty your... much just like that. Then you can just... You had it right. Yep, I know. Okay, we're going to get that glued in. Right, look at it. It's on its wheels. Yep. That looks good. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. It rolls nicely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's put it back down. So now we're going to move on to the next step, which I'm pretty sure it is going to be. Landing. It did stick to landing. And servos are all hooked I, up. I'm pretty sure we're going to. Um, I think cut motor mounts this next. Out and then kind of like fold Yeah, it. I think that like folds somehow and goes into here. We um, got to watch the video and see how they do that. Okay, I just got done taking it out. Good job. Which we need to make sure that there's no extra in the way so the airplane, while it's in midair, it doesn't stop. Yeah, well, that's the little power pod, and we have to fold that up. So we want to... Just don't go through the second piece of paper, because we have to fold. Mm -hmm. And do the same on the other side. This will get... If you don't feel safe doing that, you can always take the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now make sure it folds, just like that. A little bit of movement, and we'll get it to fold, and we'll glue that together. And then we have to figure out. Oh, spiral. and you don't have to do that, but I accidentally did this side, so I needed to make sure it matched. That's okay. But honestly, I think it looks pretty good like that. Yeah, and then the firewall issue that I'm running into is that the motor bolts are a different location, so I think we're just gonna I'm gonna cut a new firewall and re-drill it instead of trying to drill and modify this one. So I'll do that. And then she is getting that done. We're yeah. almost ready to I build the power pod. A little bit of skin on me. That's what I was picking. And up. this thing is almost done. The little mini scout. Right, so now we got to make a motor mount. Well, I forgot to grab these little guys. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab some 1 8 inch plywood, little scrap piece that I have in my little scrap corner. We're going to grab the original motor mount. Yeah, because we don't use the same one because we make new ones. So we can have this one still. Well, yeah, and the holes would be easier to make a new one. It is a little thicker. So that's fine. So it's just as simple as holding it up here. Oh, and we're gonna take this and just put it right to the side. Yep, we're gonna take gonna... all these wires and put it to the side. We're gonna take these and just put them to the side. All right, we're gonna trace that out. And then the only hole here, I'm gonna try to cut this hole out. And then this middle hole I wanna keep but we're not gonna put these holes in because we have to re-drill new ones. So I'm gonna go get this cut out on the bandsaw. All right, so I went ahead and made her a motor mount, quick and dirty, little eighth inch plywood, nothing special, nothing fancy. We're going to fancy. need this, and then we're just gonna put it through this hole. Again, T-Motor F20. So now grab the motor mount foam, baby girl. Okay. So we're gonna glue that together, get the motor mount, or the motor mount that we made glued onto here. And then we need to solder the ESC up and we can finish up this build. All right, so. And I begged my daddy not to let me do this. Gonna knock it over. But, I, but he still did it, but I'm still so doing it. we're gonna teach her how to solder. My first time, I'm very scared, I don't know what to do. Just don't tell your mother. I'm telling my mom. Don't tell mom. Yes, I am. No, you're gonna get me in trouble. I know. That's not fun. But I don't want to. Don't get me in trouble. I am. Okay, so look, this is what we're doing, okay? So we got to tend the wire. So you're going to hold the soldering tip there. 
we're gonna feed just a little bit of solder until it flows. See how it's flowing? Mm -hmm. And we just wanna get a nice good 10 on the wire. Okay, and let's turn the heat up a little bit. We got a little Oh, and cold. those little metal balls do not touch it. They're very hot. Yes, they are. All right, so, and then you're gonna move on to the next wire. And the tip to soldering and having a good solder joint is one, not moving it everywhere. Like, two, am I, like I am. Yes. Two is heat transfer. So you, you see how we're heating the wire and then feeding into it. And we're not, you, you want to get the wire hot and you want it to all flow together. So you yeah, should see a nice good joint. Yeah, you do not touch these little metal balls. No, don't touch, ah, it'll just burn me. Don't touch little metal balls. Keep a good clean tip. And then now you have what's called tend wires and they look perfect. So now what we're going to do is grab, grab the motor. Yep. Let's grab some heat shrink and then we need to solder the ESC to the motor. Right. So now we have to solder the motor to the ESC. And don't touch anything right there because it'll probably so still already, be hot. Yep. So we got our heat shrink down on the ESC line here. Now I'm going to try to help do this upside down and sideways backwards because you guys are in the way <laughs> and then you are on the other side so we got oh we're careful so now okay just so you know the soldering gun from this point down is extremely hot okay so always grab it from here back I'm okay hot. so we're gonna put a little bit of solder on the tip just to help it flow okay and it does put the tip very hot, so don't take Now, it. it does not matter what wire goes to what as far as electricity flow goes, because this is a brushless motor, so it does not matter. But rule number two, don't burn your daddy. <laughs> you want it to heat up. Up. And stay. You're moving everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> How about I hold this up and you do Okay. That? That sounds good. <laughs> I'm still trying to do this backwards. It's not easy. <laughs> oh, you may laugh at your dad. If he's doing this, you may okay. laugh at your dad. I guarantee you that we will get it backwards. <laughs> I guarantee you that you can laugh at your dad if you really want to. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're going to see anything. You can't see nothing. But if he's doing this, then you can laugh at all you want. Right, so, unfortunately, it is I extremely tried. difficult to try to video with a tripod in front of me, have the little one to the right <laughs> of me, and solder backwards and sideways. So, yeah. so, we got everything done. So now we are going to heat shrink. We have a significant amount of right thrust and down thrust. So, we have our motor pod done. We're going to heat shrink this up. We're going to leave... Two of them not heat shrunk together so we run it and see because my luck is they will be backwards so now we're going to go ahead and get this stuck in here and and, gonna... uh, and make sure that you tell your mom because she will <laughs> yell at your dad for an hour pass yep so let's get this stuck together and finish this video now we are done with the build the little ft flight test mini scout i think it came out pretty good what do you think baby girl yeah are you happy with it? Yes. Now we just need mommy to make some skeleton skulls decals for it. And you need to tell your mom. And you need to tell your mom. It came that. out pretty good. Those wheels look good. Of course, this isn't the prop we're going to use. We're going to go to, a, a, I think, a 6x4 because this is a 4x4 that we used on 4S on a different project. So we're going to go to a little bit bigger prop. I know the green doesn't match, baby girl. But you like the green prop? Yeah, because it will give it um, a little bit of pop in the sky, and we're going to put green skeletons. Oh, we're doing green skeletons? Yeah. Oh, I thought So we it can doing... pop in the sky. Oh, so you know what? We'll leave the green prop then. Yeah, I want the green prop. Okay, we'll leave the green prop. It'll put it on 2S or 3 cell. It'll have more than enough power. This little thing doesn't weigh much. Uh, the battery goes in under here. We'll have to use like a little Velcro strap. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.